Hey everyone, it's finally almost here. Daily earning and daily challenges are returning to Townstar, now known as Common Ground World. The last time we saw the daily earning feature was in July of 2022, when it was then paused until a new system was developed for the play and earn model. Sometime after that, the town token was discontinued, which was the original daily earning token of the game. Since then, you could still earn from the game by competing in the weekly competitions or simply by playing the game every day and earning storage NFTs as monthly rewards. A lot of people have been waiting for daily earnings to make a return to the game. So here's what you need to know about the daily challenge system, the token you earn, and the future utility of the token. The update that adds daily challenges to the game is expected to happen today, Monday, September 30th, 2024, and the first daily challenge will commence the following day. Daily challenges will begin and reset daily at 17 UTC, the same time competition starts on Tuesday and ends on Friday. You can access the daily challenge event by going to the events tab, then clicking on the daily challenge mode and entering it. It will be the one with the green colored card. Every day there will be a new challenge. An example of a challenge is to craft and sell 10 honey, which is an easy challenge to complete, but the difficulty of these challenges can increase at some times. Completing the daily challenge while having town point eligible NFTs placed down will allow you to earn town points. Town points will then be used to determine how much dirt or soil will be distributed to you the following day. More information on this topic later in the video. Before claiming your town points, you want to make sure Sure you place down all of your town points eligible nfts in the gala inventory you will be able to see how many town points each nft gives note that only some nfts qualify for town points once you complete the daily challenge you can click on the challenge ui in the top right and claim your town point reward by clicking claim rewards a summary of all your town point eligible nfts should appear and you can scroll through it to double check you placed everything down it will also show nfts you own that qualify for town points that you may have forgotten to place down so it serves as a final reminder it will also show how many nfts you are borrowing from the guild library if any and how many town points you will get and how many town points the owner of the nft will get by default the player borrowing the nft will earn 80 percent of the town points and the owner will earn 20 percent of the town points at launch this cannot be adjusted but the intention is that it will be adjustable in the future after completing the daily challenge you will see the completed message in the event card. You can also check your results for the daily challenge, which shows you which NFTs you had placed when you claimed your town points and how many town points you earned, in case you wanted to double check afterwards. Now to answer some frequently asked questions. Will the event town used for the daily challenge reset every day? Yes, every day you must start over with a new town and place down all of your town point eligible NFTs and complete the new challenge. Do the NFTs need to be on Gala Chain to be able to earn no if you have town point eligible nfts on ethereum chain they still qualify for earnings at least for now so you can have them on ethereum chain or gala chain and you will be able to place them down and they will qualify for town point can you earn town points with NFTs recently purchased or received from another player? No, there will be a 24 hour cooldown before you earn with any NFTs received from other players. This system is in place to prevent abuse to the system. Can you use your NFTs in the competition and daily challenge at the same time? Yes, you can use all of your NFTs in all of the game modes at the same time. This isn't an issue. How do you know how many town points an NFT gives if any? If you own the NFT, you can check the gala inventory within the game after the daily challenges update goes live and it will show you how many town points each nft gives otherwise i highly suggest you check out the town star playbook a spreadsheet i created which you can find a link to in the description of the video and there you can look at the nft page to see the full list of all the current nfts in the game their utility and how many town points they qualify for do you need to be in a guild no you do not need to be in a guild in order to participate in daily earnings or competitions that are not guild competitions if you don't have any town point eligible nfts and you want 
to participate in daily earnings, then you would want to join a guild that lets you borrow town point eligible NFTs, as that would be the only way you will be able to participate without buying any of your own town point eligible NFTs. If you don't have any town point eligible NFTs, should you do the daily challenges? No, there's no need to other than if you want to do them for fun, because if you're not going to have any town point eligible NFTs, you're not going to earn anything from doing the daily challenge. If you are in a guild and lending out NFTs in the guild library, can you still use them in the daily challenge? No, you can't use an NFT that is in the guild library. You would have to remove it from there first. If somebody already used the NFT to earn from it, you won't be able to earn from it again in the daily challenge. And the same thing goes for if somebody else tried to do the same in the guild library. Will Townstar Vox and Miranda's Vox be able to earn? Unfortunately not, because these Vox cannot be placed in the game at the moment, so it will not be possible to earn from them. Despite the fact that they are town point eligible NFTs, their intention is to get them added to the game in the future. Now I'll talk about the important tokens in the daily earning system, which are dirt and soil. For the time being, you will earn dirt the following day, sometime after the daily challenge has ended. The amount of dirt or soil you can receive from the daily challenges are based on a couple of factors, some of which we don't know. Those factors are how many town points you claimed when you completed the daily challenge, how many town points were claimed overall for that day by all the players, and how much dirt or soil is going to be distributed for that day. The easier the challenge is to complete, the more likely that more people will complete it, therefore more town points will be claimed. The harder a challenge is to complete, the less likely people will complete it, and therefore the higher reward you can expect for that day. Dirt cannot be traded and so it is bound to your account. The sole purpose of dirt is to determine how much soil you will receive in the future. Dirt cannot be spent or used for anything. The team expects the soil token to be ready by the end of the year. Once the conversion is ready to happen, you will receive soil depending on how much dirt you have collected. The exact conversion rate for this is not known at the time, so don't expect to receive soil equal to the amount of dirt you have collected. Soil will be a token on chain and you will receive it on Gala chain, which means you can immediately swap it on Gala swap to trade with other players or other tokens such as Gala. You can also bridge it to Ethereum if you would like to do so, which is not recommended. The future utility of soil is to use the token to upgrade certain NFTs classed as upgradable NFTs, which makes them even more useful for competitions. Soil is expected to have other use cases such as being able to spend it to purchase common ground world NFTs in the Gala game store or spending it in game to provide temporary buffs which can be helpful in the competitions. Ultimately, the purpose of Soil is to help you perform better in the competitions. The competitions are the key way to earn in common ground world with the daily earning of Soil only serving as a buffer to this. You do not need to participate in the daily challenges for daily earnings to still take advantage of the competitions and you can still earn gala from the competitions. You can also avoid the competitions completely and only do the daily challenges for the daily earning if that's what you prefer and then eventually trade the soil or any NFTs you have purchased and upgraded to other players who do participate in the competitions. The system to upgrade NFTs will also be released in the future likely after the soil token is ready and distributed to the players. Upgradable NFTs will be able to be upgraded from level 1 to level 20, gaining new benefits along the way. Another way to earn dirt every day is to run a common ground world node. Currently, you can purchase these from another player in the secondary market, such as marketplace.nftharbor.io. If you have no idea how to use NFT Harbor, check out the video I made for it, which I will have a link to in the description. That's all the information I have. Please be aware that delays happen and bugs happen too so it's possible that they could push back the release for more time or take it out 
to fix any critical issues. But based on what they have shared with us, it is practically ready. I will have another video in the future talking about how much dirt I receive per town point and what the actual earnings are looking like in terms of dollar value. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. I'm also going to be running some giveaways on my Discord for Common Ground World NFTs. So if you're new and you haven't joined my Discord, make sure to do so. Link is in the description. If you found this helpful, please leave a like, leave a comment with any questions or feedback you may have. If you want to help support the channel, you can find links in the description on how to do so. And as always, I appreciate your support and thank you for watching.